Hi friends, um, welcome to the Enchanted Basement. <laughs> Today we are going to be doing a little spoony chat, spoony confessions, chronic illness chat because I was thinking I'm having a rough night and I'm in a lot of pain and um, I'm hoping, I don't know, I just felt the need to share this with you guys in case you know, any of you are experienced this kind of thing as well. Um, when you have, <laughs> I don't know, I guess I was having a good few days, like maybe even decent-ish weeks when it came to my pain. And when you have those rough days, <laughs> it's like reality slams back to you and it just sucks. Um, I mean, I was born with heart conditions. You guys know this. If you've been here well, you know I was born with heart conditions. If you're new, hi, <laughs> I'm Jenny. Um, I have congenital heart disease, um, rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, among other things, but those are the major ones for me. So, I mean, I've, I've grown up with chronic illness, you know, and so it's not like it's brand new to me, you know, but I will say as especially my rheumatoid arthritis, you know, it's a progressive disease and um, while we're trying to get it under control with the new med, I have my second dose of Humira coming up in a couple days. Um, so hopefully it starts to kick into my system, but you know, sorry, I'm just trying to stretch my, my shoulder and elbows. Everything is just really hurting right now. Um, sometimes it's just, it's hard to accept your reality. You know, like you don't, you don't want to accept it. Um, because you want to be able to do what everyone else can do. You know, I see friends and... I look up to doing like all these amazing things and it's frustrating to feel like I can't do the same um and I've talked about this many a times and I've told myself this that comparing yourself to others is one of the worst things you can do because it's only gonna make you feel terrible <laughs> um so I know that I know that <laughs> but doesn't mean I'm not it's still human and do it anyway so I'm just, I try not to do like little pity parties like this and I, I hope that's not what this is, but also again, I'm human and sometimes you just kind of have to take a moment to allow yourself to maybe not necessarily pity party, but just like be able to mourn what it is you can no longer do. And it's just really frustrating Especially when, you know, I don't work outside the house anymore. I, I used to, but I physically can't keep up with it. So that's why I do YouTube. That way I can kind of pace myself um, and rest when I need to. And that's why I have my Etsy shop. And I can, again, kind of make my own schedule. But it sucks when I want to actually do well on here. And, like, hopefully get some sort of a following but I can't keep up with the schedule. And you guys are always so incredibly kind and say like, you know, rest, do what you, you need to, take care of yourself. But I gotta tell you, <laughs> the YouTube um, algorithm doesn't care how much you need rest, you know? And I know that's not the point of all of it. Like I do a lot of this to share and connect with you guys. But I would love to, like, actually be able to make a little bit of money out of it. It would help financially um, because I can't work. And thankfully, like, Credica has a good job and thankfully has amazing health insurance. And, you know, we do have a little bit of the luxury of me not working. But it's not to say that it wouldn't help <laughs> if I could also bring in a little bit of money too so anyway I guess that's just where I'm frustrated is trying to feel like 
I don't know. Find my place on here. Um, and be able to be consistent with it. <sighs> Y'all, I just feel like I'm rambling. If you... If you deal with chronic pain, you totally know where I'm coming from in a mental standpoint right now. You you start out saying one thing and then you just kind of randle, ramble and then you're honestly so exhausted and your body is focusing so hard on just trying to push through this pain that you can't really even focus on what it is you're saying. Like brain, oh my gosh, brain frog. <laughs> I forgot about brain frog. We, we've talked about this. So the brain frog is real. And I feel like I had a point when I started this whole thing. I think it was mostly just I wanted to share in my frustration that I'm sure a lot of you also have. Um, and oh, Lord. I, uh, you know, I try to be fairly positive about things and, and not, you know, be too much of a downer. <laughs> oh my god, I look like, I look like I'm a mess. But also, I want to be realistic and honest and truthful because I know for me, seeing everyone out there being able to do all their beautiful, perfect, gorgeous things and me feeling like a freaking I don't know blob it doesn't help and so I want those of you out there also you know kind of frustrated with where you are and things and I want you to know I hear you I see you like I can empathize um and you're not alone See Jip. Sorry, I just got distracted. I wanted to show you Jip. But yeah. I don't know. Do you guys you get you, where I'm coming from? It's just so <laughs> frustrating. Oh, okay, when it about the positivity thing. Like I I really try to avoid toxic positivity. I think at one point I was pretty bad about that. Like, oh just stay positive and there's definitely something beneficial I think about trying to look on the bright side or find the silver lining in things but also I think there really can be benefit in allowing yourself to feel the frustration or to mourn the losses of you know maybe what you used to be able to do or your old life or that kind of thing I try not to let myself drown in that obviously because that's not healthy but I think also not allowing yourself to feel those things is also not healthy. So, anybody else empathize <laughs> or, you know, kind of get where I'm coming from, please comment below. I would love for us to all be able to have a discussion and just chat um, in the comments about this because I know I'm not alone in this. And yeah, I just, oh gosh, my spider webs. My spider webs. I should probably, you know, dust, but also spiders need a home. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is where I am in life right now. Um, yeah. I don't know. I just wanted to, I guess, kind of share with, with you all where I am right now. Um, I definitely try to put out fun and exciting videos and that kind of thing. And I enjoy those, don't get me wrong, like, those are a lot of fun for me, too. And I also, I don't know, I just, I really enjoy seeing people who are also very real on the internet because it helps me feel less alone. And so, I don't know, I guess I just want to put more of that out into the world. Not to say I want to put out things that are depressing, because I know not everyone loves to hear about this kind of stuff because it makes you reflect on your own mortality but it, that's part of life too and I think for any of us to suppress that isn't healthy and I think for maybe people who are healthy who don't have chronic illnesses to also kind of Dottie stop 
And I think for people who are healthy and don't have any chronic illnesses to not think about this kind of thing, it's, I don't know, that's frustrating to me because I don't want to make them feel bad for being healthy at all. No, I'm, I'm super happy for you. That's amazing. But I guess I want you to see what people around you may be going through who maybe they don't talk about it because they don't know how you'll handle it. They don't know if you'll be supportive and listen to them. And I think, I don't know, I guess I just want more people to say, I see you, even if they have no idea what I'm going through. I want them to be kind about it, I guess. Which I guess maybe isn't fair to them. But I don't know how else to say what I'm trying to, I don't know how else to say what I'm trying to say. I just, I wish more people who didn't have chronic illness could really see what we go through on a daily basis and realize that when we do do things that are, you know, fun and happy and joyful, that it may take more effort than they realize. Um... I don't know. I feel like this whole video is very dark and I'm sorry. I didn't, I don't mean to take it to a dark place. I just want to also, like I said, be real with you guys. And I feel like a lot of you guys may get that and understand where I'm coming from. And even if you don't, I think it could be really beneficial for you to see and hear this. So you know that there's could be people in your lives going through this kind of thing, but they don't share it because they don't know how it's going to be received. Because not everyone is supportive of people with chronic illness. There's a lot of ableism in this world. Um, and there's a lot of people who just, I feel like I've not necessarily lost a lot of friends, but because I can't always keep up with people sometimes, it's definitely led to me not hanging out with people as much. Um, but I have found a few really good friends that are willing and patient and, you know, try to understand the best that they can. So I guess if you don't have chronic illness and you have someone in your life that does, Feel free to ask questions, talk to them, have the hard conversations that maybe you don't know how to talk about, but for them, it would mean the world if you did. Because, I don't know, I guess I just would love more people to understand where I'm coming from with things and how it may look like I'm doing nothing, but it's because I'm meant difficultly but it's because I'm mentally and physically actually going through so much. So, I don't know. That was a um, nearly 14-minute ramble, so I really hope any of that made sense. Um, if you want to chat about it in the comments, I would love to hear any of your comments from either side, whether you're a spoonie or whether you're not. Uh, you have someone in your life that maybe is, or even if you don't at all, I would just love to kind of, I guess, hear your thoughts. I'm sure a lot of us down in the comments would love to kind of just talk about it and have a conversation um, because I think it's stuff that doesn't get talked about enough and toxic positivity is not beneficial no matter how much people want to make us think it is. So anyway, this is really hurting my shoulders now. Oh my god. It just felt like everything pop. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and rest and hopefully go to sleep soon. But yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you, if you get what I'm going through, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, but you still want to be supportive, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> and if you're interested in more spoony chats like this, definitely subscribe. I don't do them as much as I used to. Because I don't want to bring people down. And I don't want to, you know, do this kind of thing. But also, 
I don't know, I kind of want to do this thing more. Maybe not so dark like this video, but just putting the conversations out there so we can get the conversation going from either side of it and maybe just, I don't know, create better relationships that way. So if you're interested in that, also let me know and subscribe. So yeah, <laughs> hope you guys are doing wonderful. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.